Okay. Okay, now we're going to go to step two of the installation. We're going to replace the center fluorescent tube with another G5 uh, T8 lamp. So I'm going to replace the uh, existing ballast with a um, T8 driver. I've already disconnected the power so I can cut the um, wires directly off of the ballast without fear of electrocution. And as I showed you earlier, um, we should clean the surface of this metal to make sure that the double-sided sticky tape which we are using to hold the driver in place doesn't fall off. So let me grab that and I'll be right back. Power wires will go this direction. This directly in line. The other drivers. Push firmly to engage the double sided sticky tape. You can see here we have a little bit longer length on these wires. Um, the first drivers that we were using were some of the sample drivers uh, that we had in our inventory. This is what you're going to get in production, will be longer length wires. It's a little bit easier when connecting up to your input power and to your lamp. So you can see there's enough wire to go from one side of the fixture to the other. So let me make these connections and uh, we'll install the lamp and we'll try that out. Now on the ends I use some quick disconnect uh, plugs. Uh, we have these available for our dealers uh, if they'd like to get them. They're wonderful little connectors because they just have a little lever on there. You um, strip the wire back like this and uh, pull the lever back like this. Engage the, the raw copper into the um, back of the connector and then snap it shut, give it a little tug to make sure you have a good connection, and you've made your connection. It's a UL approved connector, and it's a forever connector. It'll last um, forever. It's very high quality. They're made in Germany. We really like them. So we'll make that connection there. Now we'll make the connection on the other side. In this case, I'll just strip the wire back about half inch like this. On this side, I'm going to use the connectors that are included in the driver. They're little orange twist lock connectors like this. So we'll take the black wire and put it right next to the, um, to the uh, uh, wire that goes to the tombstone. Trim them to half inch long length. Oops. We have another one. You'll strip the wires to half inch long length. Have them even like this. Take your little orange connector and twist it on. Make sure you have a good connection. Twist it a couple of times like that and that's a permanent connection to the wire. You can use either these connectors or you can order these if you'd like. Uh, they both do the same job. Now let's go ahead and make the connection for the uh, driver into the um, uh, input power. I'm going to strip the wires to a little bit longer length, about three quarters of an inch. So you can see here there's a red conductor coming out of the input power. That red conductor it will switch this driver on. So I'll make a connection to that. All right, um, we've made all the connections for all three drivers. One, two, three. Um, now I'm going to use some tie reps to clean up the wiring on the inside so that it's a lot easier to close the cover up. And after I've cleaned up the wiring, I'll put the cover on and we'll put the lamp in.
and we're on. I'll put the cover back on and we're all finished. Okay. Okay, we've just installed all three lamps. You can see the total foot candles from the same location is now measuring just about the same foot candles, about 52, 52.4 uh, foot candles. And let's take a look at the uh, lamps up above. And you can see we've got all three of our G5 T8 lamps in place with an absolute beautiful output of light. This is full spectrum, natural light, about 5,000 degrees Kelvin. So this uh, working environment is going to be a lot um, easier on the eyes and will produce a lot better uh, mood for whoever's working in this area because of the full spectrum light. And most importantly, if you come back down, take a look at the uh, meter again, we're getting the exact same light output at half of the power. So the other lamps were using about 32 watts plus the ballast, so about 33, 34 watts uh, per lamp. And um, the total wattage consumption for the G5 T8 lamps that we're using is about 16 to 16.5 watts each. So that's a little better than a half um, reduction in the cost to operate these lights. And you add to that the improved light quality and the fact that these are a minimum of um, a uh, 35 to 40,000 hour lamp, in some cases, uh, depending on the life cycle uh, and, the, and the, the hours used per day, we could get as many as 50,000 hours on these lamps. Finished with the installation, and um, as you can see, the light output is a beautiful white light. It's full spectrum uh, lighting, which is uh, very healthy for the person working in this area. You're able to see colors a lot better. Um, it's going to improve the mood of the worker because the fact that it's a full spectrum light is very similar to uh, sitting next to a window. Um, we went from about a 33, 34 watt per lamp scenario with the fluorescence to about uh, 16.5 watts for the uh, T8 uh, G5 LED lamps that we just installed. So it's about 50% power consumption. So that's very impressive um, reduction in total uh, power being used, not to mention the fact that we're going to have a higher quality of light and a much longer life cycle. Uh, the life cycle on these lamps should be between 35 to 50,000 hours. So depending on how many hours that uh, you're going to use your lights in your facility, uh, you can add, uh, do the math and see how long you're going to have these lamps. So uh, we really appreciate you watching this video. I think you'll find that the uh, Solaro Day um, lighting products that we offer are state-of-the-art, very high quality, and uh, very earth-friendly. So whether you're using this in um, a business or you're using this in your home, I think you'll find that it's going to be a, a very big um, improvement in your overall quality of light in your facility, as well as give some um, some uh, consideration to using this on a solar powered building as well. Uh, you'll be able to cut down the uh, amount of solar panels in half uh, compared to uh, trying to drive conventional fluorescent lights. That's a big deal. That'll save you literally uh, tens of thousands of dollars on your uh, installation of your solar panels um, if you're using half as much power. So thank you very much for watching this video from Solar Energy. I'm Dennis Grubb and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again with our next video.